I've been questioned a lot lately. But not about what you might think, you know. You'd expect people to ask me about the whole Sunset Satan shit. You know, why are you facing Sunset Satan? Why are you putting yourself in a situation where you can't possibly win? I'll get back to that in a second. But no, no one's asking those questions. People are asking me about Lincoln. My husband, Lincoln Loud. Everyone's asking me, oh, how do you feel about this? How do you feel that Lincoln did this? How do you feel about that? And this and this and this. You know what I think? I think people need to stay the fuck out of my personal life. I think people need to shut the fuck up. It gets my fucking nerves that I have been pinned as guilty by association when I have done nothing on screen with Lincoln Loud in almost a year. Jesus fucking Christ. It seems like everyone, when in regards to my husband's actions, are bringing me into this, when I have nothing to do with this. I don't care how cliche and overdone it is, I'm gonna do it because I have the right to do it. With the whole Cat Noir situation, when Lincoln kicked Cat Noir out of the Nate Club when Cat was on his way to Avalanche. I got dragged into that, not just me, Ladybug got dragged into that, and I got told off for apparently pushing Ladybug around when, get this, get this, me and the Nick chicks are still tight. We never had a bad breakup. We all mutually agreed to go out on our own terms. There was there ever a scene of me telling Ladybug off? Was there ever a scene of me attacking Ladybug? No. So maybe Mr. Swartz should shut the fuck up and be an unbiased motherfucking show host. And then I see comments on YouTube telling me that I should divorce Lincoln Loud, that people hope that I divorce Lincoln. I mean, like, is it somewhat better than assuming I just go with everything he wants to do? Listen, you want the truth? I'm gonna say it once, and I want nothing ever said of it again, or I'm gonna have to stick my foot up someone's fucking ass. I do not always agree with what Lincoln Loud does. I don't. But I'm not going to leave him, because with me, he has always been kind to me. He has always been loving to me. And until that changes, I'm not going to leave his side. And if that makes me public enemy number one guilty by association, then fuck you, bring it on. Now allow me to turn my attention to the other issue at hand, back to Sunset Saint. People have been telling me that I'm gonna die, that it's a death witch situation. Well, guess what? I'd rather die brave than live the rest of my life running away from Sunset. I started this shit back at World War III, back in 2017, and I have to end it. Because running's gonna prolong the inevitable. And if you don't believe me, then by all means, you are inclined to not believe me. But I'm going to go into that match and do what I can to survive. Do what I can to live another day. I'm not trying to underestimate Sunset. Look what she did to Twilight. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. No one can stop talking about what she did to Twilight because it's unescapable. That cemented the fact that she is the most dangerous woman in the entirety of the colleague of nations without any dispute. But I'm going to fight her. I'm gonna give it what I can. And if I lose, so be it. But I will not die. Because just like when I had my arm injury, I'll come back stronger. And I promise you this. Ronnie and Santiago has settled miedo. Zero fear.